Hi everyone, and welcome to this week as we're going to dive into talking about Roman theater. Now when we think about Roman theater, we usually think of it as being heavily influenced by the Greeks. Um, and that's accurate. That is very accurate. We're going to get to that a little bit later. Um, the Romans, theater-wise, were very influenced by the Greeks. Um, and that's because Rome expanded between 270 and 240 BCE, or before Common Era. Um, Rome expanded and took over several Greek territories in which the theater had long been flourishing. Because the Romans wanted to assert their moral right to control the Greek world that they had taken over, um, <coughs> excuse me, they, they needed to appropriate what already existed, which was the cultural activity as conceived of and defined by the Greeks. So the Romans needed moral and religious legitimacy if their armies were going to succeed in controlling this sprawling Greek world. The Romans' political strategy had to also be a rigorous cultural strategy. Again, they wanted to have it be perceived that they had a moral right to overtake the Greek world. So again, they wanted to not just take over everything politically, but just take over and appropriate everything culturally um, that was happening. So by the year 240 BCE, a large number of Romans were really familiar with Greek art and Greek theater because again, they were kind of culturally appropriating all the Greek stuff. And we know a lot of the Greek culture was theater-based. Um, and so this large number of Romans were so familiar with Greek art and Greek theater, so much that regular drama, um, which consisted of translations or imitations of Greek plays, was finally introduced to Rome by the year pretty much fully by the year 240 BCE. Um, but regular drama, or what we think of as regular drama, like dramas and comedies, actual plays up on a stage, this regular drama was only one part of Roman theater. So I wanna just backtrack a little and, and think about what happened before the Greek influence. Um, Theater and performance in Rome didn't just pop up with this Greek influence. There was stuff going on um, before the Greek influence and before plays up on a stage um, that continued to be really popular, even as the Greek influence made its way into Roman theater. We'll start talking about that 